today. So, hi, I'm Mike, and uh, this is Bioshock Infinite. This is the third instalment of the Bioshock trilogy, and uh, I'm going to play it today and just see what all the fuss is about, because it's meant to be an extremely exciting game, a big improvement on the sequel. So, uh, yeah, let's have a little look. So this time, we... We're in the air rather than underwater, which is just lovely because it's nice and sunny. It's very good. I'm, you know, I'm excited. I'm very, very excited about this. So let's have a little look. Let's play a game. So I'm going to play a game. I'm going to start from the beginning. I have had a little test of it, I'll be honest with you. But just to just to make sure all my levels were right on my uh, on my mic and all that. So hopefully they're going to be all right. That'd be that'd be lovely. This will override your most recent auto save. Are you sure you want to proceed? I would love to proceed. That would be lovely. Okay, so I love all this. This strange how it how it keeps changing. That's very nice. So we're going to start a new game. Select the difficulty level for your new game. I'm going to go medium because I'm not the best at FPSs. I'll be honest here. I'm going to just click on here. There we go. Medium. Oh, why is that not doing anything? Oh, I have to press enter. There we go. Continue. So yeah, I just had a nice little nice little look at the start of it previously. And I've got to say, it's a fantastic intro, fantastic beginning, from what I saw anyway. And I'll shut up now. Booker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. Is that real? Possibly. Post of main. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And Cheeky why box. is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, but we're never going to get there. No. I mean, I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. On, on I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. <laughs> I don't. We've arrived. Wow. Ah, oh, I love the start. Have any Bioshock going, really? He will, eventually. <laughs> I suppose he does. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Look at how beautiful this game is already. Shall Look at this rope. We'll it's quite beautiful. It might give him some comfort. At least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. <laughs> You're telling me. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Okay, so I like to. Oh, do like to check every little stone, leave nothing unturned. Um, in games such as this, because if I remember rightly from the previous Bioshock, it it was a very collectible sort of game, so I am going to do that. Do it. That was the name on the chest, wasn't it? On the, on the little chest they gave me, so I'm assuming my name is Do It. Do it. Do it. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. This is your last chance. Blood splatter. Blood splatter. That always means they mean business. That means someone previously has been punched. Oh, take that. Silver Eagle and a can. There we go. Okay, so I've got nine books now, or whatever they are. Ah, oh, let's go inside. Hello! Excuse me. Oh, it's okay. Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess Booker you're expecting DeWitt. me? It's a bit of a rubbish name, I'll be honest with you. He's basic. 
Hey, there's me. So he's no longer the silent Good protagonist of the first pal. one. Good luck with that, pal. Right, okay, that's great. So, that's good. Oh, it's wonderful. Just everything's wonderful. Look at how beautiful everything is. Is anyone is. here? Hello? There is no one here. Oh, use telephone. <laughs> Nothing. Line is dead. So, be prepared. He's on his way. You must stop him. C. Who is C? That looks like a bird, doesn't it? Eh. Something's, got, something, something's gonna rye here. Silver Eagle, cereal. Love a bit of cereal. Who doesn't like a bit of cereal? I bet it was Cocoa Pops as well, wasn't it? Oh, the atmosphere is just unbelievable. I love it. That city out there. Oh, it's nice. Uh, ooh. What's this? That's not a good thing. Bust of. Let me say Mozart. Yeah, go Mozart. Hey! Shit. Don't disappoint us. I definitely will not disappoint you. Someone's been here recently. There's a cigarette still burning. Mm. This all happened in the last hour. Right, okay. Right, that's that's horrific. Let's get out of here again. In new Eden soil shall I plant thee. I am not a plant. Oh, could be. Up we go, up we go. Get right to the top. Right, I cannot see anything here now. Oh, I can. Sorry. I'm a liar. Okay, so. Wait a minute, that card. So here we go, here's our first puzzle. Like I say, I have already done this bit. I've done up until a couple of minutes later. So we'll just do this now. So as you can see, Scroll times one, key times two, sword times two as well. So we ring that one. Hello. That's one. One. Two. And one. Two. And as if by magic. Mm. Oh. What in the world is... That is ominous. It's a... People in that village must be thinking, what the bloody hell's going on over there then? Expect me to sit in their fancy chair. I think they do expect us to do that. It looks very much like a Sweeney Todd chair, doesn't it? Never trust a chair like this. Well, we're gonna have to because there's no one else to go really. So <laughs> let's let's sit down. So now what? The hell? Go. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. Behind the other, there is a safeguard. No, no, God! Oh, there goes my gun. Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. No, count no, of four. No, no, no. Three. Two. I don't like it. One. No. Ascension. Ascension. All right, we're just stay calm. Five thousand feet. Ten thousand feet. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, wow.
Now that is pretty. There's the land. So, such a similar sort of intro to the original Bioshock. Whereas you were going underwater there, you're going into the sky on this one. Why would he send his saviour unto us if we will not raise a finger for our own salvation? And through, and though we deserved not his mercy, he had led us to new to this new Eden. A last chance for redemption. And the prophet shall lead the people to the new Eden. So I'll take it this guy with the big beard is the prophet. He's pointing at New Eden, which is obviously this place that we're that we're, we're at now. Alright, let me out. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at, look at that. It's just lovely. Everything about this game is just unbelievable. Visually, it's lovely. It just feels nice. It's it's obviously been a good port to the uh, to the PC as well because it just feels very smooth with my mouse and keyboard and such. Now I've got to say, I didn't play the second Bioshock all at well, I didn't really play it to be fair. I did. I heard it was good right, but not as good as the original. The original is possibly one of my favourite games. Absolutely unbelievable. But this so far is not looking as dark as the original. If anyone's played it, they'll know that... Right, I'm just going to pick all these coins by the way. All these offerings. They're for me! If anyone's ever played the original, the original starts with someone being maimed in the shadows, which is quite harrowing, really. But it's extremely similar to the uh, the experience we've just had then going in the pod and flying up into the air, whereas we were going in a pod down to the depths of the the, the ocean floor. Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. Oh. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. No, definitely don't want to get made. If anyone's ever been from like the 1920s, the last thing you want to do is get made. Gotta find the exit out of this place. Okay. I'm just going to continue stealing first, though. Thank you. Oh, so coins in the cushion. As you can see, 80 out of 200. I've played a little bit so far, but let's ignore that. So I pick up Voxophone. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Without the sinner, what need is there for a redeemer? Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Exactly. So that was um, Lady Comstock or whatever they're called. And every year. On this day of days, we recommit ourselves to our city and to our prophet, Father Comstock. We recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down a snake in the back here, and not railed against the sodden beneath us, it would have been an answer, sir. Is it someone new? Someone from the sodden below, newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. 
Will you be cleansed, brother? It's either this or turn around and get back on that rocket. Sure. Might as well get it over with. Come and Shut be up. cleansed. Hallelujah! Go on, man. <laughs> hey. Cleanse me, brother. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Just drown me, mate. Whatever. <laughs> His eyes. I don't know, He's evil. brothers and sisters. But this one doesn't look clean. No, I am. I'm definitely clean. Uh, don't kill me. Bejeebus. Who's there? Who's there? Bring us the curb and wipe away the jet. What do you want? We had a deal to it. Open this door right now. I told you. I'm not gonna do it. Damn those nine voice gangsters. Mr. DeWitt! Mr. DeWitt! Okay. Wait, whoa. Um, yeah, I suppose I better answer that. Hello! Whoa. Hello? That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. <laughs> need he to was find there. a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Okay, so locate the Statue of Columbia. So I reckon I'm going to call it there on the first episode. Hope you enjoyed the uh, the nice little introduction to Columbia, Bioshock Infinite, this absolutely gorgeous place. And uh, I'll see you next time on the next episode. Love you, boy!